What's going on everybody? This is Puffle Spartan here and welcome to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, we crash landed in a jungle after setting off the signs of the apocalypse. And uh, we were looking for, we were with uh, Jonah and Miguel and I assume we're looking for survivors right now. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, if you are watching this, uh, I am currently live streaming uh, Call of Cthulhu. So, if you want to check out my Twitch and then come back to this video or finish watching this and then come check out my Twitch, link will be in the description below. Uh, I'm going to be streaming that all, like, a good chunk of the day on Halloween. I'll keep this and later. It, and if not, um... And if not, uh, taking a small, like, three, four hour break, uh, cause I am gonna be streaming, uh, start streaming it, uh, Tuesday, or yesterday, the, at the time this video goes up, uh, it will be yesterday, but I am gonna be streaming it, uh, from yesterday around, I wanna say, 9, 10 at night, all the way up until I can't, you know, stream it anymore. Can anyone hear so, me? it is gonna be a, uh, good long stream. We're going to try to get through most of the game. If Anyone? not, we will continue uh, next week in another stream. Uh, once again, the streams will be on Tuesday. Because um, that is my day off of my normal job. So, we're going to be going through all that kind of fun stuff. So, they? join us on our Depth to Insanity as we go through Call of Cthulhu. But, for right now, we're back on Tomb Raider. And I'm loving this. Okay, so we're looking through this damn jungle. All I found so far were herbs. I haven't found Jonah. I haven't found anything. We were in the wrecked. This is a mountain. I'm getting closer. All right, well that's where. Flare. Someone's over there. I have to get to them. What if they're not friendly, Laura? Think. Gosh. Head towards the flare. So you head towards danger. Got it. Is there anything else? I saw something moving down there. Wasn't sure if that was a monkey or parrots. Fair enough. Uh, yep. I'll take the feathers. Oh, arrows and oh, okay. And restore out restore outfits. We have to restore our outfits now. Howlers. Okay. Yes, howler monkeys, Laura. You saw them when you crashed. Don't you remember? More feathers. Did I miss any supplies back there? Probably. Yes, I know what, you know, feathers do. You told us the first damn time. Alright, we, we found a camp. Oh wow, we're trudging through mud. There we go. Fire. Someone must be around. Hello? Jonah! Miguel! Can you hear me? Where are you? Alright, so we need to find the knife again. Because apparently ours got lost, or I, you know, just didn't pick one up. Found a handkerchief. Okay. Oh, it's a bunny! I have no weapons. I could have used it for food. Fog light. Okay. So we have light now, which is good. We also have a base camp, which is also good. I, I assume this is where we save? So oh no, this is where we upgrade. This is all okay. Fault. I should have listened to Jonah, thought it through. Ooh. I never should have taken Skill trees. Dagger. I hope no one else was hurt. No other village destroyed. I need All right. to stop these cataclysms Let's before see. it's too late. All right. Seeker enhances Laura's exploration. Warrior increases her combat. Scavenger increases her crafty and stealth. Okay. Uh, blue, red, or green. Colored box. White outlines. You've already been purchased. Darker boxes are unlocked when the skill is purchased. Okay. 
Alright, so this is the seer path, the blue, the warrior path, the, or the red, and then the scavenger path, the green. Now this is the path that I'm most interested in is the scavenger path, because I love stealth. Um, automatically loot enemies when stealth takedown. Okay. Increase speed while swimming. That actually seems somewhat useful. Uh, perform a stealth takedown without alerting nearby enemies. Ooh, yes please. Oh, we unlocked this through story progression. Okay. Uh, let's see. Never, uh, never slip when grabbing legends. More reaction time for traps. And grapple it. Okay, all right tap the for impact roll I'm just gonna upgrade this real quick, and I'll be right back All right, we're back on our little adventure here Part of the plane landed here my gear is in that car. Obviously I'll need to cut it down All right, so if your gears in the cargo we need to find a knife and I see a bear Ooh, there's a challenge tomb nearby really kind of tempted on doing that we need a knife for the meat all right um, can we get through this without a tool of course so a lot of this need we need our tool to get into which is just peachy keen because you know we, we're kind of SOL right now grab some more wood all right what is up here is this the challenge tomb no, but I do see... Okay, we found a crypt. Do I want to go into it is the question. Oh, I can't go into it just yet. I need my uh, bow and arrow. So that... Oh, okay. The flashlight automatically comes on when we go into darker areas. Sweet. That's actually super handy. What is this? I obviously need my knife, so there's something here. Alright, I'll keep that on notice. But right now we need to find a damn knife. Where in the world could this knife be? Gotta find... Where? Oh, where? Aha! Part of the plane that, you know, wasn't, you know, hung up. So that's actually gonna be good. Right. Let's see. What can we get from you? Possibly the knife. Kind of hoping. Cause as soon as we can get that knife, our life will be so amazing. Oh, what? I can't. <sighs> Great. Okay. So looks like I'm gonna be going around. Laura's swim speed is actually kind of fast. Maybe a piece of scrap from the wreck. Oh, is this where we get our makeshift knife? Brilliant, Laura! Brilliant! And all the engine, uh... Uh, all the oils and the fuel just, you know... Screwed with the, uh, ecosystem. Perfect! Uh, come on, show me a damn knife. Show me where I can get one. Alright, I know there's something over here. There it is. Uh, another box. I spy a crate that I can actually open. And it has nothing in it. Can I craft? Nope, that's pause. Can I craft a knife? Survival guide. Nope. Alright, so I can't craft a knife. That's good to know. Uh, can't get up there just yet. Alright, so that's something we slide down. We can't climb up it. Oh, we actually have to... Okay. Alright, did not know we'd have to, you know, swim back... Swim to it. Good to know. All right, let's keep looking. Gotta keep on the damn lookout for anything that 
it could be useful. Can we get the knife now? Oh shit, eel. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Shake, shake, shake. Get the eel. All right. Eel is down. And now we can actually, you know, start getting all of this good stuff. And we just gotta get right back up there to cut the rope. Alright, and chop the rope. Good, but it's dull. I need to find something to sharpen it. Uh, okay, so we can sharpen it back at base camp. Alright, so back to base camp we go. Um, how? I gotta figure out which way is base camp. That's gonna be the ultimate question. Nothing around here. No. All right. Ooh. Come here, you. Come here. Your food. Your dinner tonight, buddy. All right. I can't stab it. Can I? I can't crawl through that either. They can run through it, but I can't even as assume to crawl through it. That's peachy. Alright, let's sharpen this knife. Invent. Okay. Alright. Yes, uh, craft. Thank you. There we go. Now we have a makeshift knife. Perfect. And, oh, that, the last one must be fast travel. Okay. Yeah, that's a really makeshift knife. Alright. Let's get our gear, shall we? Something's still holding the supplies up. Yeah, it's the one I tried to cut the first time. Now here, now if I'm not mistaken, here goes the supplies straight into the water. Yes, now I can get my gear back. Okay, uh, that is not the gear. That is not the gear. This is the gear. What gear? I mean, besides the bow, walkie-talkie, earpiece. Why didn't I but it looks like stuff is missing together. though. Miss Croft? It looked like there's so Come in. Miguel? Where are you? Damn. Well, at least we have uh something. Which is better than nothing. Alright. Uh Let's see, we can go that way, but now that we have these arrows, I kind of want to, you know, explore around a bit. I know we can do that, but and I, I assume that is the right direction we need to go. But I want to look around and explore a bit more. I'm pretty sure there's stuff that I can grab while I'm here. Now that I have the uh, makeshift knife. I should be able to scavenge a bunch of stuff that I wasn't able to before. So I'm going to do that real quick and we shall be right back. Alright, so now that we have all this, we're going to see if we can see what's in here. I went around collected all the resources I physically could. And now we're going into the creepy uh, tomb. I did find the challenge cave. Careful. Um, Careful. I did find a challenge cave, I believe, but it does require a p the pickaxe in order to move on, which we currently do not have. Um, so we're gonna see if we can do this. Without having to use the pickaxe. All right, looks like we're trekking through mud. 
Hopefully we were perfectly fine with this. Wonder where this will lead. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Definitely a trap right there. I wonder if I can cut the traps. Aha, another piece of this dude's journal. Uh, I did find uh, his sixth page. So this was his second page. Okay. Interesting. Well then. Uh, the scout. This memorial. Alright. A memorial to who? Now do we go down? Or do we go up? Shit! Shit. I am so glad I caught that. I am legit glad I caught that. Now, question is, can we make this jump? Okay, we good. We can. All right, good to know. All right, and heal up and jump up. There we go. Where does this lead? Does this just lead back out? Or does this lead somewhere? Ooh. Hi. This seems to describe a hidden chamber nearby. Okay. Question is, how do we get to it? Okay, so that opens the exit. There we go. Found the hidden chamber, I think. I would assume this is the hidden chamber. What is all of this? Ooh, I found the map. Okay. So there's the crypt. There's the challenge tomb that... Yep. Okay, so that tomb was the one that uh, was hard to get. I needed the pickaxe to get through. There's a document there. A relic there. A relic there. And a document there. I'm going to try and go get all of that before moving on. So I'll get it in between episodes. But I want to try and get everything... All right, so these little like hidden things are actually very, very useful. I'll take it. All right, anything else in here? No? All right. Let's head back out, if it'll let me. And we'll head down to that one area that we saw earlier, where I ended up going this way instead, which led us to that secret tomb. Or that, that little hidden air. Oh. I'm going to have to jump it. Yup. Alright. And heal. And one more. There we go. Now, instead of going the other way, we're going to go this way. I see something up there. Something I can shoot? I could have swore I saw something up there. I guess I didn't. No! Crap, 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 crap. Damn it. Well, uh. What do we have here? Is this a tomb? It is a tomb. Great. The map just updated. I found some boots. Okay. Alright, good to here. know. There has to. I see it. It's going up. And, oh, okay. Alright. But the question is, what's over here? See, this is why I like exp these games, because I can explore the absolute crap out of them. Uh, of course I need my uh, pickaxe. Great. Alright. Here's that. And this, I assume, is how we get out. Way up. Yep. And a bushki and shink. Is there anything else that I can grab? No. All right. I'm looking around. I don't see anything else. So up, up and at him. There we go. What did it update on the map, though? It, all it says is mural and sarcophagus. So it has to have something. There's something else over here. 
that I can go grab. But once we get out of this, I'm gonna uh, call it for the episode. So back to jumping over to these deathly gorges. And let's just make sure we can get out of here with our lives. We should be fine. All this is just being super duper careful. And I just gotta remember to come back here when we get our pickaxe. I thought I was gonna be able to get everything, but maybe some things will require our pickaxe. I'll find out. But looks like we made it out of the cave alive. Yep. Alright, well this is where we're gonna leave this episode of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'd like to thank you all for watching and joining me on exploring the first quote unquote tomb of this game. And until next time, this has been your Spiteful Spartan, signing out. Stay frosty, everyone.